Hey, what's up guys? It's Marf. I hope you're all doing well and having a great new year. Today, I wanted to talk about the Bugatti Chiron event in Asphalt 9. Now, I did make a video on this event three years ago because this is a repeat event. If you didn't know, this was the first sort of big mega special event as far as I can remember in Asphalt 9. And at the time, I said it was the worst event uh, in Asphalt history. Now, little did I know um, how crazy things would get over the next three years, but here we are, and now we are all saying that this is a great event, which concerns me, but it is also certainly refreshing to see this event come back in pretty much its original state, regardless of all the other changes that have happened to Asphalt 9. So obviously, if you're a veteran player, this event would be a complete breeze to you, and you might not even be able to get anything from this event besides, you know, some tokens and credits here and there, because it just is a repeat of the event from three years ago. So if you have a Max Bugatti Chiron, then there's really no reason to try and progress all the way unless you want to get that decal if you didn't get it before, or if you want, like I said, to just grind some tokens and some of the other rewards. But if you are a newer player, this event is absolutely amazing because it is a great way to get a fantastic S-Class car. It still is such a competitive car, even though we have, you know, the Yesco, the Tuatara, and the Venom. The Bugatti Chiron will always be a stable of high-end S-Class, and so regardless of where you are in the game, if you still have some blueprints left to get for the Bugatti, this is a great opportunity to do so. Now, I'm kind of slowly making my way through the event because I'm trying to grind at the same time the SCG Grand Prix that's going on and also Drive Syndicate 4, which I'm not quite done with yet, but I'm getting pretty close. And again, I'll make a video when that happens, but there's just so much going on uh, in Asphalt 9 right now, but it is nice to see this event come back. But the reason why I said earlier that it's kind of concerning that everyone is so happy about this is because with this sort of retrospective ability to look back and see what the Bugatti Chiron event was like three years ago with the video I made compared to everything else that was happening in Asphalt 9 three years ago. And then of course, comparing it with what's happening now where there are some cars with events that you just can't start unless you you know pay $10 for the Legend Pass. And so to see everyone being very excited about this event does concern me because it shows that the standards that we have set for this game have become so out of whack and so misplaced that something that we were calling one of the worst events ever is now something that we look forward to and we want to happen again. Now again, compared to everything that is happening right now in Asphalt 9, this event is amazing, like I said before. But we have to check our sort of expectations and realize that yes, this is something good relative to what we have now, but it could be better. It could always be better. The requirements could always be lower. The prices for blueprints could always be lower. So I just wanted to give this sort of retrospective viewpoint of yes, I am very appreciative that this event has come back. I've been going through it. I almost have a Max Chiron. I just have to get it one more star, but I'm really not trying hard to get there. I'm not gonna spend any tokens on it because frankly, like I said in many, many videos, the actual performance of cars does not concern me more so than my personal connection to cars. And the Bugatti Chiron is a very nice car and everything, but I prefer the Veyron uh, as opposed to the Chiron. So as long as I have it at a decent star count, I really don't care. So I'm going in this event more for, like I said, the tokens and the other rewards that you can get. But like I said, we need to think about this event without blinding ourselves to the current state. We need to go back and look at what Asphalt 9 was and realize that yes, again, and I've said this a million times in this video already, this is a great event for the state of the game right now, but it could have been better. The state of this game could have been better as well. So I do hope that we get more events like this. I think it's a really great idea to place these events every once in a while so that new players have chances to go back and play old events Old players who didn't really have a chance to start up these cars can now do so because maybe they're not the kings of their classes anymore. And for just everyone in general, they offer a great way to just go through something and get that completionist um, perspective and feeling because it's these, these events are not super difficult, right? You don't need to pay for cars. You don't need to have cars that are very hard to unlock. 
I feel like a lot of players will have a lot of these cars already. Probably the only car, um, and I might be mistaken on this, but the hardest car to get in this event would have been the 570S, if I remember correctly. And I'm sure most people at this point at least have it unlocked. So yeah, look, I'm glad that this event is back, but we need to take a step back and say, let's not, you know, completely go crazy about this event because again, everything could be better. I think this event at least tells us that Gameloft is willing to bring back these events and give players at least some, you know, decent level of events that everyone can partake in in 2022. So it's a great start to the year, don't get me wrong. So. But yeah, let me know your thoughts of the Bugatti Chiron event coming back in Asphalt 9 in the comment section down below. Which car would you like to come back next? I think a lot of people will say the Koenigsegg Regera and me included. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.